Okay, this is going to be a quick video showing how to put in weld symbols. Um, one of the nice things about Creo is there's a really nice weld symbol library um, with a lot of different settings in it. Um, it's very easy to use once you know how to. So I'm going to show a couple different ways you would do it. So I've set up a drawing here. It's just two simple plates laying on each other. Um, and while <coughs> um, there is not um, you know, like a butt joint where we could do like some grooves and stuff. I'm going to ask you to bear with me. I'm just going to show you how to put them in, even though obviously we wouldn't do like a V groove here on this one. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to annotate, um, in your drawing and go up to symbol, hit the down arrow, hit custom symbol. Okay. And when that pops up, one of the things by default that shows up in the common folders, unless you've turned it off is system symbols. All right, you also have a user symbols, but system symbols is nice because you have this nice weld symbol library. You have some surface texture libraries, all sorts of stuff. We're going to use weld symbol. All right, we're going to go with ANSI um, for now because we're working an inch. And then we're going to start with the simple one. So let's say you want to put like a nice little fillet weld in there. So you could go simple. You could pick fillet and you can see there's all different ones in here. Okay. Um, but your simple symbols are going to be symbols that have um, a weld symbol on one side of the welding symbol. Okay, so I'm going to pick fill it. All right, and you can see they all have descriptions here. I'm going to hit open. And now the first thing you should do before you actually put it in is you should build your symbol. So you go to grouping. Is it arrow side or other side? Okay, meaning do I want the fill? I'm going to point to right this joint right here. Do I want the fillet to be on the side that I'm pointing to or the opposite side? Okay, so I'm going to go arrow side. Okay, I can control a whole bunch of different things. These plates I made are about a quarter inch. So I'm going to add a fillet size in just to show you how to do that. Okay, you have equal or unequal. Um, finish options, chip, grind, hammer, machine, etc. depending on what you need. Leader orient. All right, now that's important for a couple reasons. Okay, so I'm going to put a reference in. All right, like we're going to point them to a note. All right, but I'm going to hit um, leader orient. I'm going to I'm going to pull it out this way. So my leader is going to the left. So I'm going to hit the arrow under there. All right, and I'm going to put and I could do a whole bunch of things. I can put an all around symbol. I can put a reference symbol. That's going to give you your tail. Okay, um, and then we can also do length. We can do pitch. This is just going to be a constant length one. Okay, so now that I've done that, here's what I do. I move this out of the way. I zoom in. I pick about as close to that joint as I can. Move out, middle click. All right. Now you can see I didn't change anything here. All right. So what we're going to do is once it's in there, I can hit OK. And now I can double click on this symbol. All right. And I'm going to show you with the other one. Normally you'd set this up before. So let's say my reference said, I don't know, C note one. And then my see that changes and my fillet leg was a quarter inch and third all right and I hit okay there's my nice weld symbol I've got a fillet weld here all right now let's say I wanted something slightly different okay so I'm gonna delete that I'm gonna go symbol custom symbol browse all right again system symbols weld symbols ANSI symbols all right now let's say I wanted a combination weld Okay, um, so I could go combination, all right, and depending on what I need, all right, I'm just going to go with a flare style, okay, and what this is going to give you is if I drag this out, okay, flare, flare V, flare bevel, fillet, and reinforce welds, okay, combination, um, JU square fillet, uh, spacer style welds, um, and bevel welds, so I'm going to go with a flare, and I'm going to do a both sides, okay, um, fillet weld. So I'm going to go grouping, I'm going to go arrow side. Notice there's a checkbox now instead of options, so I can turn both of them on. All right. Now I'm going to say that I want a fillet weld on one side. All right, and I'm going to tell them what size it is. And on the opposite side, I don't know, let's say we wanted like, yeah, we'll make, we'll make it a combo. Uh, let's see, we'll make it a both sides fillet weld. All right, and then I could go. The same thing again, fill it size. All right, let's say I want, um, you know, a length too. Let's go with that length. And then I'm even going to put a finish. I'm going to make it like a nice, and actually, I won't do finish. I'll do contour. All right, I'm going to make it a convex 
weld on one side, and on the other side I'll make it a concave weld. I don't know why I would be doing that, but we'll see what happens. All right, now same thing, leader orient applies. I can pick which side the leader's on. I can turn all those same things on. We're not going to put a reference on this one. So for this one, I'm going to say both of the welds are a quarter inch. All right. And then we'll say the length of one of them is two. The other one's going to be four. Okay. Now I can come in here, pick the same joint again, pull it out, middle click. And now what I'm saying is on this side, okay, I'm going to have a fillet that's shaped like this, okay, and on the other side, I feel it's going to be shaped um, convexing out there, okay? So there's another option. Now, last one, symbol, custom symbol. Let's pretend that this was possible to put like a V-groove in here. So I'm going to go browse, system symbols, weld symbols, ANSI weld, all right? We're going to go simple, and we're going to go with a V-groove, which is a very common type of weld, and we're going to hit open and just pretend that it could go in there for me, okay? So we're gonna say it's on the arrow side, it's regular. Um, if we want a spacer, we can. You can see it puts that spacer in, but that's not super common anymore, regular. Close that up. I can put a weld size. I can put a prep depth. I can put my groove angle, that's pretty common. Root opening, okay? Weld size. Um, I can go with my contour. Let's make it flush. All right. Um, I'm not going to tell them how to do any of that, um, but this should be fine. So my weld size, let's say, I don't know, it's going to be an eighth. My root opening will be really small. It's going to be a 32nd. Okay. And my groove angle is going to be 90 degrees. Now I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to pick wherever the joint is. Let's pretend there was one right here. So I'll pull it out like this. I'll middle click. I'll hit OK. And now we can see I have my size. I have my root opening. I have my uh, angle. And I also have that I want them to make it nice and flush. Don't make it stick out. Something must assemble there um, to uh, my weld symbol. And it stacks it right up just like it's supposed to. Okay. Very, very simple to use. Weld symbol library is really nice.